So this is the pre-instructions, the preparation before doing the enema here. And this is why it's important, I'll tell you. So it uses three ingredients here. We're going to use filtered water here. This was also crystal, uh, made with crystals in the water, certain crystals for the chakras. So it was charged and filtered a bit with the black tourmaline. Um, distilled, it sit for a couple of days. And then the oxymag here, we're going to add the oxymag, that's ingredient number two. And that's oxygen and magnesium. So basically, you have to activate the oxygen magnesium chemical reaction with absorbic acids. So, lemon or apple cider vinegar or uh, grapefruit juice. All right. And uh, now this is going to actually, we'll just mix it up here so it activates up, stir it for a little bit. And um, so this is actually going to cause you to have a bowel movement, maybe possibly slightly liquid too because of all the pulling of toxins and the, just scrubbing the intestines clean. So this is going to be used in the enema and green too, the oxymag and uh, apple cider vinegar as well for to activate it. So basically I'm going to drink this and, and maybe make another one too and then wait, you know, an hour or two and then I should, you know, have some bowel movement going and that way it's going to clear the bowels before you actually take the liquid. That way it'll be, you'll get much more in. You may even be able to take two of the 48 ounces uh, when, when your bowels are really empty and stuff. So, um, thank you. So here we are, liver flesh man here, today going to make an awesome uh, healing intestinal uh, tea and, and then we're going to make, uh, add four special ingredients to make it a special awesome enema that's going to clean basically a lot of the garbage and all the uh, fecal placoid material and the strands of mucus strands and stuff, you know, you're going to begin to start get that stuff uh, erupted and moving so here I put uh, basically the proper way to make the tea and stuff is just to bring it to just uh, just before it starts to boil a little bit or if you're not using filtered water you can actually boil it for a couple minutes then turn it on low right to minimum all the way minimum and then once it's you know settled then throw in your ginger and other ingredients like I talked about in another video, this is going to also have this slippery elm bark, which uh, it puts a little coating, a healing coating, over the intestines, and uh, combats, uh, you know, helps from the healing process and and get it, and get rid of toxins as well. It helps absorb toxins. And then about this, uh, we're going to put in the licorice root, which uh, is a also uh, used for bowels, uh, like laxatives and stuff. Is a, ingredient to mix other ingredients and it's also good tasting for the tea and you know good tasting for intestines too and uh, slippery elm bark oh we we got that and then last one there is the marshmallow root there marshmallow root and that also has a coating that protects the intestines from back, uh, unfriendly bacteria and uh, things like candida and stuff, this helps the healing process and and if you're going to a raw food diet, this helps to digest the raw food. So I'm um, just going to stir that in and let it seep there in the not boiling version so that you get all the rich nutrients and stuff that was savored in the drying process and then you know it's, uh, it's still what quite more active than if you boil the crap out of it kind of thing you know and then you know, so um, those that's the the four ingredients. We got ginger, we got slippery elm bark, which you can get at like your local uh, herb shop, marshmallow root, and licorice root, and it makes a really good uh, just tea for drinking too. If you're not comfortable doing enemas, and so if you're not, you can just drink the tea, and it also gets eventually in the intestines. But directly going in the intestines is like equivalent. I've talked about it before. Um, it's about six or ten beers if you drink one beer enema is equal to six six or seven or eight kind of thing of, of beer and it, you'll be just as drunk kind of thing so once this simmers here we're going to actually let it simmer a bit more then what we're going to do is 
we're just going to drink some of it and then we're going to use a little bit and then add add water to it so that the enema in this bucket here will actually be you know this much of the tea the rest water here and then we're going to add the organic coconut oil um, extra virgin raw um, this is hexane free cold pressed uh, castor oil um, there's also even higher quality ones like ones from India and stuff um, so this is cold pressed and you want hexane free that's really important especially if you're going to do it internally so you could also add these ingredients to the tea if you wanted but you know it's not going to taste that good so with the enema that's the neat thing because you don't taste it as well so you can put pack it with more stuff and you don't taste it but you feel the benefits the energy of it so this is the oxymag and this is made by here love your liver up here love your liver and that's uh, loveyourliver.ca and loveyourliver.co for dot company there so is also these products may be available singly soon but right now they're available in the entire love your liver flush kit which got all this stuff including the enema bucket um, a, a, a castor oil I don't know if it's exactly that one and, and, and you know a bunch of other ingredients which I'll, I'll make another video about that about the flush kit there but I'm also going to then add a bit of Himalayan sea salt too which has got the trace minerals and is known as a kind of laxative uh, kind of uh, properties where you, you're flushing it out so that's it we got the tea there with the four ingredients and then five six seven eight ingredients total organic coconut butter oxymag castor oil and Himalayan sea salt so I'm just going to pause now let this simmer here a bit longer and then I'm going to actually show you about how much you want it used to make uh, the, the, this enema. This here is the tea and this intestinal tea right there. It tastes really good and it, plus it, it cleanses the intestines and when you get comfortable do enema then you may consider these other products because they have amazing healing effects like coconut butter has a healing effects all over the body. It's a it's a healthy saturated fat which is oh, there's only palm oil and coconut oil and a few others that are a healthy saturated fat that doesn't raise the cholesterol of the bad cholesterol. Uh, there's good and the bad kind so if that overgrows. So I'll get to that in a bit. Yeah, yeah, so we're, here, we're back here. Here's adding the castor oil. Uh, basically th these are teaspoons here so you know there's one and uh, we'll do two there. So two teaspoons of uh, castor oil there. And that's going to coat, coat, coat and mix all that stuff in there with the castor oil, which is really healing and anti-inflammation, all right? It's, 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 it's a really good one, especially for the intestinal ones there like that. And then, then the oxymag here, we're actually going to uh, put in about, uh, just kind of sprinkle it over the top like that. There, that's about right. And then we'll mix that in. And that's, that, that goes to wipe out the free radicals. It, it acts as a super antioxidant, but in order to activate it, we have to actually use some absorbic acid. So, uh, absorbic acid is actually just comes from lemon. It sounds like a fancy word, but it only just comes from lemons or grapefruit, because uh, that's the natural ingredient. And then here, we're going to use the Himalayan uh, sun-dried sea salt there so a little bit of that and that's the thing like you won't taste this so like the tea itself is really drinkable and then when you mix all these ingredients in there as well it's uh, gonna act as a super cleanser um, the oxymag goes in there and kind of scrubs it clean like a scrub brush and and basically um, you know it, the oxygen and the magnesium get activated with the lemon so you can also, if you don't have lemon, you can also use uh, apple cider vinegar to activate it. So this is a jar of some apple cider vinegar. And uh, the apple cider vinegar is also, would be also the good ingredient because it's, it's uh, fermented. So it's going to have that beneficial bacteria and stuff. So this is like the super enema here, right here. The super enema there it is and uh, I don't think I'm gonna actually film doing the enema I've done my other videos I've been filming and stuff but I'm gonna go and actually do this one right now 
and uh, I know it's going to be awesome. It's going to be really healing, and you know, in, when in doubt, just try it and see what happens. And you know, in the end, you'll probably be happy you did it. So that's the refresh man in and out. Oh, and yeah, just that last little bit. I just warmed up the bottom of this by putting in some warm water. So that was just that was the perfect way to do that. And then we're going to add the uh, coconut butter just to congeal it all together with an oil there like with the castor oil and the coconut oil really both healing mix her all up and that's it okay thanks guys have a, have a good christmas there 2012 december 16th or something today so there you have it i just cleaning the enema bucket now and i i did the one there uh the first one which is 48 ounces then I went back and did another one, and uh, and then during that I, I I did I held it for 10 minutes, and then I went up and made another one, and so I did two 48 ounces plus the first 48 ounce. Then I let that one go, but then I did two, so two 48 ounces in one shot, um, and then I just wanted to show how to clean the enema bucket. You basically put soap, right? This is like nice uh, seventh generation stuff, and you put the soap in there, and then you basically just run run the water on hot. Um, you got a little bit of cold, but basically really hot. And the soap goes up, and then you can just turn it off there, and one, and then make sure it's on. So it's uh, yeah, it's on there. So. So yeah, it's coming out the bottom here and it just basically drains out like this down here. Right here the water's coming out here. And, and it, it works even better if you just put it up on the side of the sink here and then it flows even faster because there's a bit of gravity there so it flows nice and fast like that. And then uh, just clean out the sides here with the soap too with like a cloth or something as you're going. Even with your hands, it's pretty good, but uh, good cloth. And I've already cleaned it, so then you basically let the whole thing go through, and it cleans it all, and then rinse it out. So that's uh, the cleaning of the enema bucket. And that, that was the first time I did two enema buckets at one shot. So I did the first one, which released a lot of all kinds of... It even looked like, like almost stones or something this time. It was like... I got a really deep level because I, I worked out some new uh, new ways to massage the intestine and stuff and I'll do another video on that but this was uh, then I was able to get two of these after the, doing the first one then two 48 so yeah it, it, it went to a deeper level this time I think I'm going to try to do that more often so an empty intestines you know eat less and stuff and do more enemas and with all those healing things with the coconut butter and the sea salt and all that stuff so thank you that's liver flush man thank you